today. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. We're in Richmond at Special Olympics Healthy Athlete Program. I'm head coach. I'm also a mother. So I'm involved in two different directions. She is completely blind uh, and intellectually disabled. While she's here, we found out she had a small cavity. They're fixing that. They're cleaning her teeth. But most importantly, these people doing this for them is wonderful. To treat a special needs population requires a lot of patience. A lot of patience to be able to listen to them, to recognize them, and understand them. I trained at VCU, but now I'm working full time at the University of Pittsburgh. So we have a joint project with VCU, School of Dentistry, Virginia Dental Association, the Virginia Dental Association Foundation, the Mission of Mercy, Healthy Athletes Incorporated, and the University of Pittsburgh, School of Dental Medicine. We have oral surgeons, pediatric dentists, endodontists, uh, general dentists, periodontists, orthodontists. We have a full service clinic where we are providing diagnostic and therapeutic services. Lots of dental students here, um, fourth year dental students actually able to provide care very early on in their career exposed to patients with special health care needs, intellectual developmental disabilities, which is really the foundation of Special Olympics. Special Olympics started out as a sports organization and they realized that they had a responsibility. They had a huge organization and infrastructure in place and that health was a real issue for these patients. It actually goes back as far as Eunice Kennedy Shriver who started Special Olympics uh, with her husband. Her sister, Rosemary Kennedy, had very bad dental disease and was not able to find a dentist up in Boston, Massachusetts. So they sponsored with Steve Perlman, who was a local pediatric dentist in that area, and together they kind of brainstormed and put together the Healthy Athletes Program, which is now an international uh, venture and really a great way for patients with intellectual disabilities to get care and treatment. We know the inflammatory process in the mouth affects the overall health of the body because if those bacteria get in the bloodstream it creates havoc. So it's not just a filling. It never is just a hole in the tooth. There is a lot more to it than that. It takes a lot of stuff to be able to do provide the services that we do which are cleanings, fillings, x-rays, and extractions. So the benefits of having a therapy dog right here while they're getting all these medical treatments is huge because it's calming. I've seen athletes get brand new glasses, gorgeous ones by the way, I mean like designer brands. I can see things like, like more like more clear, more like better that I couldn't see before but now I can see, I can see them now. Nearsightedness is very common so you know we've had one athlete they were so blind that they could only see the person in front of them. So they were running track and they would always get second place. And then we gave them glasses and they started getting first place because they could see where they were going, run in the lanes and run as fast as they could without being afraid to see where they were going. From the physical therapy standpoint, most of the athletes that we see have really tight hamstrings and, and hip flexors and calves and things of that nature. So by kind of compiling multiple athletes throughout the years, they're able to go into this database and then maybe, you know, educate the um, the coaches that are, are there and the parents and the regional resources and okay well we should spend a little bit more time on X, Y, and Z for this population. The motto is very, very true. Let me win, but if I can't win, let me be brave in the attempt. Because honestly, it's just joy of being here and being a camaraderie and being together. For me, everyone's just family and it doesn't matter if they're from Richmond, it doesn't matter if they're from North Carolina, there's just, I, I love the feel of just Special Olympics. And it's just like, welcome. It's like an open door, which is great. Level one, finish the you got it! Go Being a global messenger um, opened up the world for me. Um, it gave me a different side of Special Olympics and more of the business world. And it, it like opened up my eyes of how much hard work that goes into it to how the torch runs ran and how long that distance really is, um, running it especially. Um, and um, being a global messenger, just saying, you know, 
we're here, this is some of our stories, and come out and enjoy it, and just to get as many people here as possible, because it's a wonderful place to share. I get first place to track, and I came third place hot fall this year, and I want to thank my coach at Park and I. Playing sp uh, uh, sports with friends is fun. It makes you feel, uh, feel valued. Why I love Special Olympics is because of the volunteers and they're like, just awesome. We couldn't do Special Olympics without them. I need to thank Special Olympics and the doctors throughout the entire healthy clinic, making it be for all of them. They don't have insurance. So this is one, the greatest thing that they can do for them. So many of them don't have parents anymore. These are adults, parents is past. And they're dependent on our society to have services. Our society is not always there. These people are there. And we need more of these people there, whether it's for physicals, whether it's for dental, whether it's eye exam, whatever is needed. And they're making a difference for every one of them here. Well, with the, my primary doctor, I have Medicare, so that pays. And then, I don't know the name of the dental insurance. My mom found one online for, our, for us to have, so that helps. I have to pay some when I go to the dentist, but not a whole lot. Medicaid covers dentistry up to the age of either 18 or 21, depending on the state. And so in Virginia, if, if you're an adult, you don't have any access to care. So it's a vital opportunity to provide care for many patients with disabilities. The gift that we give really is only exceeded by the gifts that you will get as the provider. And it doesn't take a DDS after your name or a hygienist or a dental. Anybody can volunteer at these projects and you will feel the gift that you get from serving other people. It's a great, great celebration of sport, celebration of fitness, celebration of health, celebration of education, community, and leadership, all centered around a great sporting event called Summer Games. I think when people come out, they'll be surprised at the determination of the lower skilled athletes and how determined they are uh, to finish the event and do as well as they can. They will also be surprised at the ability of the higher level athletes, because if you just saw them competing on the tennis court or on the track, it would never cross your mind that they were Special Olympic athletes. And it's not at all there about cognition or a level of functioning. There, it's about a level of determination and a level of coaching uh, and training that some of these athletes are getting. So we've created an experience that really is the way the world should be. Rich in understanding and joy, no judgment, everybody here is equal, and that's the Special Olympic experience. And that's what we teach our athletes to help engage the community, to let them know no one is better than anybody else. Everyone are equal. In 2019, the Special Olympics Healthy Athletes Program has impacted nearly 1,500 people in Virginia. Remember, Special Olympics is always looking for volunteers. You can hug her like a teddy bear.